Several parts of the country are dealing with the situation of acute water scarcity. A quarter of the country's population is drought hit. There is a situation where a city like Latour is being sent uh, train loads of water every day to quench the people's thirst. Why has it come to this? Why is a country which is blessed with two monsoons, it has bountiful rivers, is it completely dependent on the weather for its uh, water needs? Well, we have uh, to answer these questions with us, Water Resources Secretary Shash Shekhar on Candid Conversation today. So welcome to our show. Just tell us, uh, what is the situation right now in the country? How alarming is it? Because uh, everybody is wondering what's happening in Latour with train loads of water going every day. The current problem in the country is largely on account of uh, successive monsoon failures. In Maharashtra, it is a third monsoon failure. Mm. So the water table, the groundwater, the surface water, all have been depleted badly. And our reservoirs, uh, the situation with the reservoirs is such that uh, there's just 24% water left in the major 91 reservoirs. Well, we have a situation where uh, there will be a longer list of cities now that will be supplied water in the manner that is being supplied to Latu. No, this is a very larger question. We need to understand uh, water far more comprehensively. What is the source of water? Uh, how do we manage our uh, water, uh, the availability the water? Precipitation is the only source of water in this country, mm. or for, for that matter, any country. Very large percentage of uh, precipitation is in the form of uh, snow and the snow clad mountains which are uh, permanently under snow, the glaciers. We receive about 4000 billion cubic meter of uh, precipitation out of which ut utilizable what we call it is about 2000 billion cubic meter mm -hmm. out of which uh, about 500 to 600 billion cubic meter uh, should go below the subsurface that is which forms the groundwater and rest over the surface and balance uh, drain into the sea. Mm -hmm. Monsoon is uh, spread over in a period of about 90 days. Mm -hmm. We receive about 30, 40 downpours. So this is the water that we have to store. Yeah. And this what you store would cater to the needs for the rest of 365 days. Mm -hmm. This fundamental we need to understand. Mm -hmm. So how much we store and where we store is the second issue that we need to address. Okay. So, you know, the traditionally we used to store water by creating a large number of tanks and uh, uh, check dams, percolation tanks, uh, you know, areas, the water stress, naturally water stress areas where the south of Vindhyas, Mm. Bundel Khand, mm. these were the naturally water stressed area, Rajasthan side. At all these locations, you will find there are large number of tanks. Our forefathers created very large number of tanks. For example, Bundel Khand, the 14 districts uh, spread over in two states, uh, Madhya Pradesh and uh, Uttar Pradesh. There are identified more than 10,000 tanks. Mm -hmm. Holding water in these 10,000 tanks uh, would recharge your groundwater. Okay. Groundwater does not suffer but we've any... But not been able to hold the water? We have over the period of time, unfortunately, you know, the water sector was dominated by uh, big dams. Hmm. Post-independence water sector, unfortunately, was dominated by construction of huge dams uh, rather than reviving uh, this uh, the tanks, uh, ponds, uh, check dams, percolation tanks, so that your groundwater improves. Mm -hmm. Groundwater actually provides uh, drinking water requirement for 85% of villages, 65% yes. of irrigation needs, and in urban area almost like 50-55% of uh, your drinking water needs. Mm. This being so, why did we neglect the groundwater? is the first question that we need to address and the first thing that we need to know, address and handle. If we have to drought proof the country, first and foremost... Was there a misconception that it's an in inexhaustible resource? That was a misconception, but you know, the number of blocks uh, that started becoming drier and drier should have opened our eyes, mm. which unfortunately... Because now there are alarming reports that uh, by 2050 we'll have to import water, which is unthinkable. 
in fact, if we do the survey today, we call a block as a dry or overexploited or dark is where the the dynamic recharge. No, every monsoon the water table goes up. Then we exploit water table, water table goes down. So if the exploitation level increases mm. or exceeds the recharge level, then the block automatically becomes dry. So every year if your uh, exploitation level is exceeding mm. the recharge level, then the water table will keep going down every year and you reach almost a rock bottom. Punjab, Haryana, mm. Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Gujarat, all these where groundwater table has significantly sunk. Hmm. So, we need to address this as a first step because 70 percent of the country, the bottom is a rock. Right. It's only 30 percent of the country where you have soft rock that is alluvium soil, is the Indo-Gangetic plain, hmm. the Terai belt of any mountains. These are the places where actually groundwater recharge takes place hmm. extensively. You have you have substantial quantum of groundwater available. Hmm. The rest of the places it's a hard rock. So, you have a say about 20 30 meters of uh, soil mm. that mu you must we must uh, ensure that adequate rainwater harvesting takes place so that water goes into the subsoil system. Then, the second thing is uh, how do we manage water? So, mm. first is the supply side, construct series of check dams, uh, percolation tanks, rainwater harvesting structures in the form of desilting all those old tanks in fact uh, tamil nadu today i was uh, i was discussing with uh, a colleague in tamil nadu mm. they said now we have we are taking a satellite picture mm. and also verifying it with the survey of india topo sheet 100 years old topo sheet and all the vanished tanks now they are trying to relocate revive so that water uh, is held the rain water is held in those tanks once these tanks have rainwater, there will be some dead storage post monsoon that will keep recharging the groundwater. Let's talk about the center's efforts now because water is a state subject otherwise, but uh, the center is uh, making a lot of effort to ensure, at least on the supply side, these things that you're uh, mentioning, they are now given precedence and the center is also giving funds for that purpose. Even the uh, uh, Manrega is uh, being used now, uh, I guess, to a larger extent, far larger extent than earlier conceived for this purpose. The Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister has time and again been saying that Manrega must be used extensively for creating rainwater harvesting structures and the traditional system of water conservation. He has been time and again saying and I think uh, yesterday also in the Civil Services Day he, he stressed upon this particular mm -hmm. fact. But all these things is basically supply side. After supply side, once you have stored water, suppose you have constructed large number of check dams and uh, percolation tanks, desilted the, ta this desilted the old tanks and uh, water bodies, your water availability increases in those uh, village. Mm. Thereafter, how you use that the demand side management. Yeah. Unfortunately, our system so far has completely neglected demand side management. There are certain good examples. Let me see one example of uh, Tamil Nadu again. Mm. Then some examples of Maharashtra, some good examples of Gujarat. I let me give one example of uh, Hevre Bajar in uh, Maharashtra. It is an Ahmedabad district, uh, Penambur in uh, uh, Pudukode district of Tamil Nadu. That will explain what we need to do mm. to drought proof the country. Once you have stored adequate rainwater. As I said, the rainwater is the only source of water, uh, particularly the river which is, uh, the area which, which are not fed by uh, snow, uh, snow, uh, snow. So, how much you store over the surface, below the surface. So what goes below the surface is, is, is like an uh, insurance against uh, any uh, drought because it doesn't suffer any evaporation yeah. losses. In Perambur, there were a number of tanks, they stored water in the tanks rest of the water went below the uh, ground uh, ground level mm -hmm. from the ground water then they did the water budgeting mm -hmm. how much what is my population what is my human needs then what is the needs of uh, the animals so these two must make my priority in allocation okay if you have x amount of water the priority obviously has to be drinking water and uh, the uh, water for animals thereafter what is a, what is available how you use for agriculture purpose 
Then they found that their total agricultural requirement exceeded the total water availability. Mm -hmm. Then the community as a whole decided that we must switch over to uh, low water intensive crops. So they reduced the paddy cultivation, increased horticulture, increased ragi, That's increased great. bajra. That's great. They did not stop with that. Mm. Then they moved and they said that we must further manage the water uh, more efficiently. So they moved to drip and sprinkler irrigation as a community. Mm -hmm. The entire village took that decision. Where did they find the money to do it? Government provides a lot of subsidy. Mm -hmm. Manrega they use for uh, desilting the tanks, like that. So because there are money is one factor which automatically comes in the farmer's mind that all this will require more expenses from our side and switching will require other changes as well. Hmm. How do you convince the farmer and where do you uh, get resources to the farmer to ensure this happens? As far as supply side is concerned, uh, most of the money came from the self-help. In Tamil Nadu, there, there was a traditional system of what they call it Khudi Maramath. Mm -hmm. It's a Khud is, uh, you know, self and Maramath is uh, repair. So the Khud, Khudi Maramath, they used to do on mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. So that tradition still uh, survives in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Thereafter, uh, resources came from Manrega. Mm -hmm. As far as drip and sprinkler irrigation is concerned, there is subsidy available. But I would try to go beyond subsidy because if the entire country moves to drip and sprinkler, the amount required uh, would be very, very substantial, mm -hmm. which no government uh, would be in a position to mm -hmm. address. But uh, how we can do that, we can part, that part we can address. So what, in, let us understand these two examples because that will give uh, idea as how the entire country should address this problem. Hmm. They did the water budget budgeting, moved to uh, less water intensive crop as a community, then they moved to water uh, efficient uh, consumption of water through drip and sprinkler uh, irrigations. Hmm. Today that village has become water surplus. In fact, uh, two years back that village was water deficit. The total uh, water availability is about 9 lakh uh, litres. Hmm. Today they are saving almost on an average about 4,000, 5,000 litres every year. Why we are not able to propagate this or one successful example why it doesn't get translated across the state when you have identical uh, uh, environmental condition, yes. which means rainfall being identical, identical, soil type being identical. Mm -hmm. Maharashtra gets, uh, except the the eastern part, which is I think uh, Vidarbha, mm -hmm. Vidarbha Maratha, Mar Marathwada, rest of the places get uh, ranging from 900 to 1200 uh, millimeter of rainfall average. Mm -hmm. Certain places, of course, is close to 3000. Mm -hmm. So. So replicating need, this uh, remains a challenge. We'll talk about this further. We're taking a short break at this point in candidate conversation. Later, we'll talk about uh, what other measures is the centre taking in terms of uh, even uh, new laws to ensure that uh, demand management is the focus and that is what is managed in this water crisis. Short break right now. Pradesh. इंडिया को चाहिए एंटरटेनमेंट फुल मसाला मार के इसलिए डिश टीवी दे सबसे ज्यादा मसाला सबसे ज्यादा एंटरटेनमेंट डिश टीवी लाइव मसाला मार के अब सिर्फ इकतीस हजार रुपए में खुशियां घर लाइए बजाज सिटी हंड्रेड खुशियों का जैकपॉट सुनो सुनो किसान भाइयों सुनो सुनो ओ सुनो सुनो किसान भाइयों सुनो 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 किसान भाइयों ध्यान लगाकर बात सुनो नीम कोटेड यूरिया आया खेती में नई क्रांति लाया इससे यूरिया की क्षमता और बढ़े नाइट्रोजन जमीन को बेहतर मिले नीम के गुणों से कीटाणु मरे पानी को दूषित ना करे तो भाइयों नीम कोटेड यूरिया से हो मेहनत सफल बेहतर हो खेत पानी और फसल कृषि और किसान कल्याण मंत्रालय द्वारा किसान हित में जारी
रॉकस्टार रॉकी को है रॉक का क्रेज शास्त्री जी के पूरे क्लासिकल आर्टिस्ट रॉकी के रॉक से हैं वो बेहाल शास्त्री जी के संगीत से मिलती नहीं रॉकी की जान तभी दिल्ली में आ गया ऑड इवन का दौर शेयर की गाड़ी एंड मच मोर ऑड इवन से हुई गाड़ी शेयर करने की शुरुआत फिर तो हो गई दोस्ती मिली दाल से दाल तभी दिल्ली ने कहा दिल से ऑड इवन फिर से 15 से 30 अप्रैल सूखा हो या बे मौसम की बरखा हो कीड़ा लगे खेत में या दुविधा हो बहुत ही कम प्रीमियम पे पूरी हो भरपाई फसल भी मुक्त रहे कटाई के बाद भी भाई हाँ ऋणी या अरिणी अब हर किसान लाभ उठा एक मौसम कदर है सब किसान बीमा कराए प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना से हर किसान मुस्काए कृषि और किसान कल्याण मंत्रालय द्वारा किसान हित में जारी रॉकस्टार रॉकी को है रॉक का क्रेज शास्त्री जी के पूरे क्लासिकल आर्टिस्ट रॉकी के रॉक से हैं वो बेहाल शास्त्री जी के संगीत से मिलती नहीं रॉकी की जान तभी दिल्ली में आ गया ऑड इवन का दौर शेयर की गाड़ी एंड मच मोर ऑड इवन से हुई गाड़ी शेयर करने की शुरुआत फिर तो हो गई दोस्ती मिली दाल से दाल तभी दिल्ली ने कहा दिल से ऑड इवन फिर से 15 से 30 अप्रैल इंडिया को चाहिए एंटरटेनमेंट फुल मसाला मार के इसलिए डिश टीवी दे सबसे ज्यादा मसाला सबसे ज्यादा एंटरटेनमेंट डिश टीवी लाइव मसाला मार के चौदह अप्रैल अंबेडकर जी का जन्म दिवस है पहली बार राजपथ पर अंबेडकर जी के जीवन परिचय से संबंधित एक झांकी निकाली गई थी डाक टिकट जारी किए दस रूपए और एक सौ पच्चीस रूपए का सिक्का जारी किया भारत सरकार ने पंद्रह जनपद पर डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर अंतरराष्ट्रीय सेंटर की स्थापना का निर्णय लिया छब्बीस अलीपुर रोड अंबेडकर जी का महापरिनिर्वाण स्थल है वहाँ सौ करोड़ की लागत से राष्ट्रीय स्मारक बनाने का निर्णय लिया जन्म भूमि शिक्षा भूमि दीक्षा भूमि महापरिनिर्वाण भूमि और चैत्य भूमि इन पांचों तीर्थों को सुरक्षित रखने और भव्यता प्रदान करने का निर्णय किया है 26 नवंबर संविधान दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाएगा और अम्बेडकर जी की जयंती समरसता दिवस के रूप में हमेशा मनाने का निर्णय लिया है प्रदीप ने कितना मजेदार वीडियो है हमें रहने दे ऐसा मजा ना सजा भी बन सकता है संभल कर चलने की आदत ही भली तू और तेरी आदत यार बोला था ना संभल कर चलना अच्छी आदत है कौनम देना प्लीज मैं और कहीं भले रिस्क ले लेता हूँ पर अपनी जान के साथ कभी नहीं क्योंकि एक बार भी चूके तो एच एड्स यौन संक्रमण या अनचाह गर्भ कुछ भी हो सकता है इसलिए कॉन्डोम हर बार एक अच्छी आदत डांस में तो नागिन बोला डांस में बार 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 मसाला इंडिया को चाहिए एंटरटेनमेंट फुल मसाला मार के इसलिए डिश टीवी दे सबसे ज्यादा मसाला सबसे ज्यादा एंटरटेनमेंट डिश टीवी लाइव मसाला मार्केट वेलकम बैक यू वॉचिंग कैंडेड कॉन्वर्जेशन विद वाटर रिसोर्स सेक्रेटरी शशि शेखर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट वेल एन इशू विच इज नाउ परहैप्स द बिगेस्ट कंसर्न ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वाटर स्कॉसिटी एंड हाउ टू एड्रेस इट वन इज द सप्लाई साइड द अदर इज द डिमांड साइड मिस्टर शेखर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट एग्जाम्पल दैट यू गिवन इन प्लेसिस दैट आर इन महाराष्ट्र दैट वो वाटर स्केस टू ईयर्स बैक एंड नाउ देर वाटर सर्पलस why has that not been replicated in other parts of the country 
water is a state subject and the water subject unfortunately even at the state level you find that it is fragmented into a couple of different departments okay. one is uh, irrigation department which thinks only of uh, big dams uh, and surface storage in the form of reservoir mm -hmm. groundwater department unfortunately is like a you know distant cousin in this even mm -hmm. in, at the state level the amount of so it's not a priority it's not a priority the resource provided uh, to the groundwater department is and very do mega. you think in the past there's been a lot of leakage as well uh, as far as uh, you know, big dams are concerned and all these projects uh, that are there which are supposed to serve a dual purpose of not just uh, getting water to fields but also electricity. Not all projects are uh, uh, all, hydroelectric projects. Are. Some of the projects are electric, uh, you know, also they generate uh, electricity. The As far as leakage part is concerned, let it be addressed by the controller and general uh, okay. uh, CAG. I would like to address different parts in we found uh, that uh, big number of dams we created but we did not address the demand side of it hmm. water we created we why did we held uh, water uh, in these places we held this we hold this water basically to supply water to the farmers hmm. if a particular project had uh, one lakh hectares or two lakh hectares as the command the design command we should have ensured that everybody gets water. Right. The entire 2 lakh uh, hectares must get water. water. This 2 lakh hectares uh, of design command was through flow irrigation, which means it's huge amount of wastage. The delivery of water only through canals. Mm -hmm. Now canals, uh, A, a lot of evaporation losses yeah. take place and second a lot of seepage losses take place you will see series i mean large areas under waterlogged uh, facing waterlogged problem so we suffer two losses one is the evaporation losses second mm -hmm. we also waste land in the form of water logging so we should have ensured efficient delivery mm -hmm. now in future we are in trying to say that right from the dam you deliver through the pipes underground pipes so that you don't have to e e even e acquire land so big pipes then deliver, delivery pipes and the minor pipes and then minor outlets. Each minor outlet thereafter would irrigate a small area of 40 hectares to 200 hectares, what we call it as a chuck. No, you have limited source of water. If water becomes finite the moment you create a reservoir. We should have, we are still not trying. In the past, we allowed flow, flow irrigation to take place. Mm -hmm. Now we are going and convincing the farmers because most of the farmers could not get water, particularly the tail end could not get water. Mm -hmm. So we are revising our guidelines. We are saying that one, you form the water users association for each of the uh, okay. miners. The water users association must decide mm -hmm. as who will get water first, who will get water second, who will mm -hmm. get water. So the tail end will get water first. That's a part of our guidelines. Then. Once the tail end gets water, then in the water budgeting automatically takes place uh, from the downstream to the upstream. Mm. Then everybody knows how much of water each will get. Right. Then we have seen that places where it has become successful, for example, mm. in Madhya Pradesh it has become successful. Mm -hmm. There people have automatically switched over to drip and sprinkler irrigation, okay. change the cropping patterns. But do you think all this needs to be done now in a more uh, perhaps centralized in uh, legal manner there needs to be a law you're uh, drafting a model law for that purpose as well which states can uh, adopt we are drafting we had earlier drafted a model law which we sub sub sent to the state uh, now our model law will provide much more thrust on the demand side hmm. our model law in the past was more on the uh, supply uh, side hmm. it addressed more on the supply side now hmm. we want to address more on the demand side because actual problem lies here so how, how you, will the law do that uh, could you give us some examples no a model law means uh, since this being a state subject Understood. we it, it acts as a uh, guidance hmm. there is a definite need time has come there has to be a national law so that people adopt by law hmm. a model law a state may or may not adopt okay. but uh, time has come we have to relook at the entire thing we miss hmm. as a nation hmm. how we should manage our water hmm. where we should hold water hmm. how much the water uh, the river must have river has a first right of 
having water. Most of the rivers have become dry during the non-monsoon period because we 100% hold water. So limits to usage of water, how do you make that binding? Is there any scope, is there a possibility to make it binding through law? Any law on a subject which is uh, under the constitution mm. is, uh, is of the states. Mm. Most of the states will have to agree for a national law. Only then the nation can. Uh, are they coming around to that idea? That we we need are. To do we this? we have started this process through our various discussions. You know, once in a year we hold Jal Manthan. Mm -hmm. Last two years we have been holding Jal Manthan. What what are you what as what is the centre advocating to the states? What do they need to do? Do they need to make this law? We are we are trying to convince to the state that time has come where there has to be a national law, mm -hmm. so that all the states address. Uh, issue Which of will water. restrict uh, water usage, over exploitation of groundwater, Precisely. adoption of demand management techniques such as drip irrigation, sprinklers, all Precisely. that will be there. All that will be together. In the supply side, how you should manage the supply side, how you should manage water over river basin basis. Mm -hmm. Once you know how much of water is available, how you allocate your water, how you prioritize your water allocation. For example, drinking mm -hmm. water has to be my so priority. if we follow this methodology at the micro level, each farmer can be told that, look, this is the amount of water that you need for your fields. This is the amount of water that you should be using. And if you go beyond this, there will be a problem for you. Precisely. Th how, much how much of water that is available for you, that we have to inform. So now we have started a project. Earlier it was uh, for only 13 states had adopted. Now we have made it as a national project called National Hydrology Project. Hmm. Each and every village will know once the entire project is uh, completed, which will complete in three to four years' hmm. time. Each and every village, each and every district will know how much water is available with them and they will know it on an online basis, real-time mm. basis. Once they know, then they can plan for their water budgeting and water usage. Okay. Our role is more and more of convincing, more and more of capacity building okay. so that they manage their resources better. Mm. Let's hope your convincing works. And the mm. other aspect is, of course, we have a country where areas are drought prone. We have a country where areas are flood prone as well. And if we have a bountiful monsoon, I'm sure We'll see that contrast uh, come through uh, in just a couple of months. And uh, river linking is an issue which uh, is expected to address that. Uh, how far are we down that road and will we see results in the next couple of years? You know, there are about uh, 16 priority interlinking projects. Mm. When you talk of interlinking, we talk about uh, linking a river from one basin to the other basin mm. and basically between two or three or more states. Such as the Kane Betwa. Public, like Kane Betwa, is, uh, it is between UP no, and uh, Madhya Pradesh. Underway. Yes. Now, Kane Betwa, the entire project report is available. Mm. What we require is uh, clearances from the Environment Ministry. Mm. Basically, since uh, about 4,000 uh, 4, hectares reserve. of uh, Panna Tiger Reserve and some uh, prime forest is getting submerged, mm. that clearance is required. Mm. We seem to be in an advanced stage because the state has already given its uh, wildlife clearance. Mm. It was placed before the uh, national board. Mm. National board had sent a team to the Panna Tiger Reserve to see as how we, whether uh, the experts would advise and then accordingly the national wildlife board mm. would consider uh, about uh, clearance to this project. Otherwise, everything is ready from our side. Well, let's hope that the nation chooses the best path uh, mm -hmm. to manage this precious resource which we seem to be uh, having a bit of a scarcity right now. And in the coming uh, months and years, uh, we have a much better response to water scarcity and make uh, the nation drought proof as well. Thank you so much for joining us on Candid Conversation this time around. Thank you. Thank you very much.